everybody. Just want to give a little brief demo about how to use the dial calibrator on the R390A receiver. These receivers can be a joy to use when they're set up properly, but there's a lot of things that can go wrong with the alignment. If they're not set up properly, the, they'll be difficult to, to use. So uh, here what we're going to do is just uh, as a demo, tune in Radio China on 6020. So the first thing we'll do, we'll hit the megasites, megasucker change knob to band number 6, 6 megahertz. Now we're looking for 6020. So um, this receiver, just like a lot of vintage receivers, is set up with a crystal calibrator that puts out a 100 kc harmonic. Um, so we'll turn that on and we'll go back down and calibrate the dial at, at 6 megahertz. The way we'll do that, we'll turn on the BFO and we're listening for the calibrator. Now there's a calibrator signal you hear, but it's not right. The dial's not set right. So what we'll do is we will uh, turn this zero adjust knob right here and what that does is pushes in a clutch and disconnects the dial indicator from the rest of the radio. Now we can turn, tune the radio without moving the dial indicator. Now the radio is tuned to exactly 6 megahertz. I'll let the clutch out again and that will re-engage everything. Turn off the crystal calibrator so the radio will be back receiving. And there we go receiving right at 6 megahertz. Now we're looking for ra uh, Radio China on 6020, so I'll just blindly turn to 6020 and trust that the mechanism works, and turn off the BFO, and this see. There we go. There's the station. We'll check the zero beat on that, and just a tad off. So there we go. That's how it works, uh, to, to set up a, the dial to tune in the station exactly. Sometimes your station won't be there when you're tuning. You'll need to wait for it. But if you follow this procedure, you'll hear it when it comes in. What's common on these Collins designs is this This is a uh, kill cycle control is controlled by a permeability tuned oscillator. This depends on this oscillator to put out 1000 KCs exactly in 10 turns. What typically happens on these radios is that they will get out of calibration over time and it takes more than 10 turns to get the 1000 KCs. That's one of the problems that can happen with these that needs to be remedied with an alignment. So I'm just going to go ahead and check mine right now to see that it's putting out a thousand KCs in 10 turns and that's again necessary for the tuning mechanism to work properly. So I've got the calibrator turned on, started at 6. I'm going to turn this 10 turns exactly and go to 7 megahertz and we'll see if it's working properly. There we go, mine, mine took a little less than 10 turns. As these age, they're going to take more than 10 turns. So mine's got a little bit of room to go. It will age into a more accurate state and over a period of years it'll end up right there with the zero beat. So that's where I want it to be. Um, as, if they were really, uh, really out of alignment, you would see this would have to be turned farther to here. That zero beat way up here. And then you need to go into the PTO and make an adjustment to cause it to put out exactly a thousand KCs in 10 turns. Again, that's, um, that's the demo on how to calibrate the dial. If this is all working properly, it'll be a joy to use. Thanks and see you next time.